So we're bringing stuff in right now. We'll get started on the mailbag. Everything's good. Uh, DJ will be by also in just a minute, although uh, she is providing an update on Ben's situation right now, uh, which I will update you on in just a minute. several days before these things resolve. So, uh, the only really good news that we had uh, from the vet was that when they took him um, out to, you know, examine him and do his stuff, uh, he would just, if they left him on the table, he would just take off running, which is good. That's, it shows that he's got a lot of energy you know, and he's sort of peppy, so that's very good news. Uh, also, his blood sugar is still perfectly normal, which means that even though uh, he's not eating as much as we would like, uh, he's still doing pretty well. So that's, um, that's Ben in a nutshell. I'm sure DJ will come in here in just a minute and close the door and uh, bring the kittens that have escaped in no, with her. Uh, you sure I'll do all that? Yes. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started, even though she's lagging behind a little bit. So let's hop right into it. There we go. All right. So um, it's obviously been, uh, you know, a little bit of an unusual week for us. And uh, oh, Afro, Afro. This letter says to Acro. Acro. Come here, buddy. You got a letter. Acro. All right. It says, Dear Quackro. Oops, I mean Acro. Ever since I first started watching Kitten Academy, you've always been my secret favorite of the faculty members. Whether it be your quacky meow or your fluffy dark orange fur, you kind of remind me of Garfield. I get so happy to see you on the nightly close-up streams. I think it's adorable how you have your own little office by the microwave with a plaque with your name on it to claim as your space. I bet your trip to Latin America was exciting. Not many cats get to take trips out of the country, but I believe that if you were human, you'd actually be able to speak Latin. You're a very chilled out cat as well. Well, I just thought it would be a fun idea to write you, because why not? Mr. A, perhaps you could read this to Acro. I'd appreciate it. He's, he's over there, but I'm sure he's listening. With smiles, cat mews, and fur, Tori. P.S. If you remember to, please give Acro a smooch between the ears for me, and if he quacks at you, quack back. Thank you. 
Well, thank you, Tori. That's really sweet. I think this might be Agro's very first letter. Um, some of the other faculty have gotten letters before. So it's Acro's turn for sure. Acro's is back there by the food, checking things out. And that reminds me, I should check to see which cameras we have on. Oh, that looks pretty right. Okay, we got the cage camera and the floor camera. Okay, fair enough. Uh, if Acro comes around, I will definitely give him a smooch. All right. Here we have a letter from Kelly that has a giant piece of pizza on the back, which is a, I don't know what you call this style. It looks very 80s to me. Pop Deco? I'm going to call it Pop Deco. That's, I just made that up. That's all I mean. Oh, the theme continues inside with, uh, no, you should probably close it. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so we have pizza, sushi, tacos, and pushin. That's an interesting card. On the inside it says, Dear Kitten Academy, I have been watching since the fonts and can't thank you enough for letting us all enjoy the adorable kittens. You two are amazing people for all you do. I live with a polydactyl cat named Oakley. It's nice to see more thumb paws in kitten format. The beans... Uh, walk just like her. I love watching both sets of kittens. Daddy, what are you doing? And I hope Rue and Chili what can be friends. Doing? What is he doing? He's standing in the litter box and peeing on the wall. Sorry, I'm going to deal with this. You keep going. Okay. And, yep. Thanks for dealing with it. You need some help? No. Oh my god. What? I think Logan well, Mary might need a covered litter box. Yeah, I, I've never seen this firsthand, so that was good to see. Educational? Yes. <sighs> okay, uh, I'm sorry, where was I? Uh, it says, I love watching both sets of kittens, and I hope Rue and Chili can be friends. Please pet Elsie more, because hashtag Elsie is best kitty. Uh, then there's a pushing as Rue with her muffins. i got to show you this, and it says, so much love, Kelly, at even that apple. Uh, on Twitter, I assume. Kelly is at even that apple, or maybe I'm reading that wrong. It could be event hat apple. So uh, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say Kelly is at event hat apple. Uh, any, either way, have a look at that little pusheen. It says muffins as Crow, Ben, and Claire. How cute is that? I think it's super cute. Thank you, Event Hat Apple. All right, here we have our weekly letter from Mr. Elso and Mom, and it has a fuzzy little Scottish Terrier on it. And on the back, it says, Kittens, butterflies, and sunsets need no reasons. Add sardines to that. Cat to Pat Welch. Uh, I should have read that with the proper meter for a haiku. I didn't realize what I was getting into there. Uh, kittens, butterflies, and sunsets need no reasons. Add sardines to that. So that's a cat coup by Pat Welch. And then we've got another here that says, The monk meditates. The master enters his trance. The cat takes a nap. Mm -hmm. um, those, those are very clever, both of them. All right, let's see what we've got this week from Mr. Elso Cat and his mom. Big dog growling, small dog yapping. What is the sound of one cat scratching? It says, the big dog next door implores me to come over. I'm still on the fence. <laughs> That's a great one. Uh, visiting children, adorable light kittens, you may remove them. And it says, more over. Oh, there's more on the back. Okay. Oh, well, I'll save the back ones for after the letter. The letter says, Mr. A and DJ, OMG, my book find. It, I took two boxes of movies and books to a used bookstore. We always laugh, but they don't give us much for our rainbow poopy books. We say, oh boy, Starbucks coffee dollars, not. Uh, we 
we go anyway. So, of course, it's 25 minutes to wait for them to tell me I get, wait for it, a big dollar fifty. I took a cool book back and they dumped it down to a buck. I went for it for a dollar would be taken off my wonder find cat coo. It's the book. It's a thing. I wrote cat coos from the chapter mind, body, spirit all over this letter. The first sum may say about me that I wrote below. The other is something that I'd say. First, earth is in balance. Sun, rain, light, dark. But you are another story. <laughs> um, other one says, The path is long, but leads to the mountain's summit. You go, report back. <laughs> Those are pretty good IQ. Uh, P.S. I OD'd the night I got the book. You got a little dose, the OD, uh, on in this letter. Love and light, us. So apparently, a Mr. Elso Cat found a book of cat haiku, and let's see, there's a couple more here. Is it loyalty or dullness? Um, I should try that again. Uh, is it loyalty or dullness? The dog says, please repeat the question. <laughs> Uh, Bill is saying you should check the annex cam when you get a minute. Uh, a home with a cat has no need of sculpture, but it does need tuna. <laughs> That's good, too. What is put outside in the rain will soon return to walk on the couch. Special furniture? For me, you needn't bother. The silk chase will do. Most problems can be ignored. The more difficult ones can be slept through. Those are some wonderful cat haiku. Um, I like the one about the dog, too. And the two, I guess, both of the ones I really liked were about the dog, because the, the, my favorite is obviously the big dog next door implores me to come over. I'm still on the fence. <laughs> That's... Not only is it a haiku about cats, it's also a pun. I like everything about it. Thank you, Mr. Elso Cat, for your weekly letter. Here we have a postcard that has an advertisement for Carter's White Lead. Uh, I think White Lead is a lubricant, but I guess I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, it has a kitten on it. That is why. And it says, okay to read on air. Dear Mr. A, DJ, and faculty, I just wanted to send a postcard to say thank you for all you do. Not only for the kittens and mom cats, but all of us that watch. It's been a really rough week and Kitten Academy has been a lifesaver. So thank you. I'll be sending a package for DJ soon. Private sense she'll probably onion. Cheers, a miracle. I think I'm saying that right, a mirror. Cole, uh, I've always thought that it was sort of a play on a miracle on the uh, Discord chat, of a miracle. Um, anyway, thank you, and uh, there's a little uh, Hello Kitty dressed up like a bug, which is also very cute. Thank you, a miracle. Okie dokie. see what we got here. A Hallmark card that has a bird on a basket of raspberries and strawberries, and it says thank you. Oh, goodness. It says, Dear Mr. A and Ms. DJ, thank you for taking care of Ben and for acting quickly. It has been our experience that vet ER clinics are quite spendy, so we wanted to send a little to help you with that expense. Uh, we believe that a person's treasure will follow their heart, and you are all certainly in our hearts. Again, thank you both. Love and prayers. Benaya and Malka and their parents. And there's another little note that says, Lord willing, by the time you get this, precious Ben will again be hopping and running and floofing all around the annex. Well, uh, I wish that were the case, um, but not so far. Soon. 
definitely soon. Thank you so much for contributing to Ben's fund. Um, this is a good time for me to, to remind everybody, though, as I said in the close-up stream last night, that, that Ben is already very well funded thanks to all of your past donations, um, which is it just really puts us in um, yeah, thanks. Really puts us in, in uh, a privileged position of being able to care for Ben and anybody else at the Kitten Academy um, without regard to expense. And uh, I, I do understand how special and unusual that is for people that do fostering or shelters um, as we do. So I, I, I really, I literally can't thank you all enough for that and, uh, and for that donation as well. Um, it, you know, even if it doesn't go directly to Ben, it'll go to whoever is uh, next, I guess. That sounds terrible to say who's next. Um, but, you know, it is, it's an inevitability that, uh, you know, little kittens do get sick, so we do what we can. And uh, thanks to you, we can do uh, everything that is possible, and that's the important thing. Okay, here we have a letter from Song and Phil. Addressed to DJ Kira of Kitten Academy, and it is sealed with a piece of tape that has uh, kittens on it. This is very cute. And let's just see. It does. It says it's from Song and Fiddle. I know, and it says it's to you, but I'm going to open it anyhow. So that's how I am. Oh, goodness. It is a keychain. Oh, look at that. It's a keychain. First off, it comes in this really cute little bag. But inside, it's a keychain with a picture of song and fiddle. I hope you guys can see that. That's perfect for DJ. Here, have a look. There we go. And there's also a card that says DJ. All right, the card says, this birthday card would have arrived earlier. But it's from me. <laughs> Dear DJ, hope you had a special day. Hello, first human mommy. When we realized our humans hadn't sent you birthday wishes, we had to do something about it. It wasn't easy. We had to bribe the neighbor's dog with our valuable chicken treats so she'd distract the mailman and we could take the card from his truck. But it was worth it because we needed you to know how special you are to us and how glad we are that we started our new lives at Kitten Academy. We really like the names you gave us. Everyone we meet thinks they are awesome. We both included a whisker for you to make some birthday wishes on and a little something else to remember us by. Love, song and fiddle. P.S. We know Jen and Matt wish you a happy birthday, too. P.P.S. Hey, DJ. Hey, DJ. I'm going to be as big as mom soon. I'm a tiger. Signed, Fiddle. And then inside, there is uh, paw prints from Song and Fiddle. Well, illustrated paw prints. And a little piece of tape with two whiskers. It is the cutest, the cutest thing. Oh, my goodness. Jen, Matt, Song and Fiddle. This, this is... This is really, really, really sweet. Thank you guys so much. Um, that's it's really thoughtful, and the the letter is is cute. Um, I, the whiskers are, are great too. I don't know if you know, DJ has um, a collection of cat whiskers that she saves. Uh, Whenever a cat loses its whisker and she happens to find it, she puts it in a little box, and so we've got we've got a collection. And now she has song and fiddle whiskers, which I think are probably the most special. So here we have a letter to Kitten Academy, and on the front it says, Hi Candy, with a drawing of a cat sitting on a post box that says U.S. Mail. And the stamps are flan stamps. And it's pointed out, flan stamps with a little arrow. That's really cute. That, you might even say, is a doorbell. Okay. Let's see here. There's 
also a piece of tape here with little tiny cats on it, but I, there's no way you'd be able to see it. They are very tiny cats. Okay, let's see what we've got here. There's a letter. The letter says, okay to read aloud. I like that. Dear Mr. A and DJ, you know the saying, when you're ready to adopt a cat, the right cat will choose you? Well, I think that saying could also apply to the cat-themed merchandise you receive in the mailbag. Some things just look like they choose Kitten Academy. Case in point, the enclosed pair of socks. I was just aimlessly wandering around the aisles of a small bookstore when I saw the display of cat face socks, when I realized that not only was there a pair that looked like Cha-Cha sticking her tongue out in a classic blep pose, but that the brand of socks is Aries, Ari. I knew these socks had chosen DJ, and all I needed to do was buy them and mail them to Kitten Academy. Unfortunately, there were no men's socks in the display to choose Mr. A. As uh, I'm enjoying watching Ruse Chu growing from tiny newborns to bouncing kittens, and Chili and her beans are almost too adorable for words. Thanks for all you do to give these precious furballs the perfect environment to learn to cat and to prepare to and to and prepare to graduate to their forever homes, along with maintaining a positive internet presence that brings smiles to our faces and warm felines in our hearts amid the challenges and sads of life. Purrs and meows, Lily Cat's mom. Thank you so much uh, to Lily Cat's mom. And here is the mentioned pair of socks. <laughs> it, it really does look just like Cha-Cha doing a little blap, doesn't it? How cute is that? And the brand is Aries. And uh, some of you may not know this, but Ari's original full name was actually Aries. Ari is short for Aries. Uh, it seems like Lily Cat's mom knows that. But uh, I don't know if that's common knowledge because it doesn't come up very often. Uh, Aries' mom was named Stella, and therefore uh, we named all of the kittens from that litter after um, uh, um, uh, constellations. Thank you. I just for some reason the word was not coming. So yes, so we named all of the kittens from that litter after constellations, and Ari was Aries. <laughs> And then after uh, we ended up keeping him on at the Kitten Academy, we thought Aries sounded a little uh, too uh, presumptuous, I guess, for a kitten of his caliber. So uh, ever since then, he has been Ari. All right, here we have a drop shipment, and it says, A gift for you. This is one of two packages of spring toys for the cats and kittens. They can never have too many. Signed, Devin. Devin. It is Devon, right? Not Devon. It is Devon. I think it is Devon. Devon, like Devonshire. I think it is. I'm going to stick with that, Devon. Thank you so much. And, whoa! Oh my goodness, this is not at all what I expected. Look at that. So, we had mentioned, uh, it just came up casually, I think, that we were all out of spring toys because I was looking for a spring to give these kittens. Speaking of which, I'm looking for these kittens. Where, where are they all? I think they're all in the kitchen. Well, Maybe I should bring them back. It's fine. I mean, Custard is probably on the camera from that angle, and I hope. Ari's right here. Hi, Ari. Okay. Anyway, I had mentioned casually that we were all out of springs just because I happen to be looking for a spring at the moment. And here <laughs> is what we get. This is not the spring toy that I'm used to, but this is the cutest spring toy I have ever ever seen. It is a little tiny mouse and the spring is its tail. That is amazing. And there's three of them in this package. Uh, they are really, really cool. It says they are from www.twincritters.com. Uh, Twincritters.com and they're called Kitty Chase, handcrafted by artisans in Nepal. Wow. Twincritters.com. That is the coolest little cat spring I have ever seen. Ari, Custer, somebody, look, look. Oh my God. There's three of them here. There's also, uh, did I give you the, the package already? Yeah. I did. Okay, look at that. Wow. No. Wow, indeed. All right. 
moving right along. Devin, thank you so much for sending our much needed supply of springs from Nepal. That's some fancy springing right there. Um, okay, there I got that one off the knife. Oh, goodness, this looks like a continuation of the package. This one says. Okay, okay. This is one of two packages of Cat Kitten Spring Toys. They can never have too many, Devon. P.S. Please keep the ones you like best and feel free to give the rest away. So these are the, you've seen the blue spring that these kittens have been playing with in this room. Here we have two sets of blue and red, a little bit smaller than the one that they have, which is good. The one they have is a little big for kittens. These are awesome, awesome. Look at these. Oh, a bundle of kittens. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold them. I need this picture. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Really cool, I 
It does seem really cool. Uh oh, warning, keep this bag away from babies and children. Do not use in cribs, beds, carriages, or play pens. Well, there goes all my plans. My goodness, what is this? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Right. It is a Purell dispenser for hand sanitizer that is wall mountable and it's the kind that is uh, automated. You just put your hands under it and it dispenses. You don't have to touch anything. This is this is really professional. Like this is the real deal right here. Look at that. Wow. Uh, DJ and I have had some discussions over the topic of upping our game, and uh, David W., you certainly just upped our game, so to speak. That is phenomenal. And apparently the instructions for how to install it, this is odd, the instructions for how to install and fill it are printed on the bag. So I can see why you might want to put this in a baby's uh, crib. It's it's very instructional. They could learn something from it. But uh, I guess that's a lesson that they just won't learn. Um, wow, David W., uh, that's the coolest thing. It might take us a little while to get this installed, uh, but uh, install it we will, because that's the coolest thing. Also, um, looking here, you didn't just send us one. You sent us two. According to the box, this is the same thing. Another one of the same. My goodness. So that's uh, one for the main room here and one for the annex. And uh, I do think that this would go just fine right inside the door here. And maybe another one inside the annex. Um, and we can order, don't worry about it, David W., we can order the refills for ourselves. So thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Wow, what a crazy thing for us to get that's thoughtful and useful. Uh, it's really perfect. I, I gave you a note from this already, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Wow, David W., that is, that's really, really cool. Um, here, let me have a little bit of my coffee. I still need it. I got off to a late start this morning. Um, this is, by the way, the Kitten Academy logo mug that you can get on Zazzle. And this is the very same mug that I've recommended that you don't get on our Zazzle. Um, it's the travel mug from Zazzle, and uh, it's not dishwasher safe. That is the number one thing that I do not like about it. We put ours in the dishwasher anyway, um, because we just don't, who's got time for things that aren't dishwasher safe? Not us. We don't have time for that. Um, but we had two of them, and one of them got ruined in the dishwasher almost immediately. So when they say not dishwasher safe, they mean it. Uh, we've just been lucky that this one has survived. The other thing I don't love about it is that the logo that's printed on here, a little hard to see, you know, frankly. Um, maybe it turns up really well on the camera, I don't know. But in person, it's just a little, I don't know, it's not, it's not wonderful. So I've said it before, uh, if you're going to order a mug from us on Zazzle, the, uh, the ones that are just the regular mugs are awesome. They're really cool. But the travel mug, mm, not so much. Speaking of Zazzle, I'm wearing my Agent Star shirt still. I love this shirt. This is from uh, Kitten Academy fans, and they are selling it on Zazzle. Uh, we don't make any money off of that, but they do, and they've said that they're uh, actually saving those pennies to someday adopt a kitten. So I think that's a worthy goal, and, and uh, not only is it a worthy goal, but the t-shirts that they have designed are fantastic. Uh, I got two of them. I got this Agent Star shirt, and I also got the uh, Wingdings. The Wingdings shirt is uh, also really cool. So. Uh, I recommend them just because I think they're cool people, they're doing cool stuff, and their t-shirts are cool. Okay, here we have a order to us that is drop shipped from Petco, and all I know is it is from a Helen. Uh, I don't think that it's Helen D, I think it's one of the other Helens. Um, 
DJ might know. Sorry to put you on the spot. She, she's not in the game, but she knows. Mm -hmm. That's okay. All right. And it contains... Ooh. What is this? What? Yeah. I have never heard of this product. DJ, I don't think you've ever heard of this product either. It is... It is our pet's brand. I hope you guys can see past Loganberry who's decided to... To just involve himself in this in the in the most ridiculous fashion. Um, Logan Barry, why don't you come over here, my back, no, or something? Okay, of all the places to sit, here, have a flat mouse, buddy. Oh, what's over there? Oh, where'd it go? Hmm. Really? Really? This is as lazy as you are, Logan Bean. Okay, let me tell you what this crazy product is, because this is crazy. I've I've literally never heard of anything like this. It says. Litter box spray. Now, that by itself sounds like, oh, something to freshen up the litter box. That makes perfect sense. It is not that at all. DJ, can you guess what this is? What a litter box spray that is not for freshening litter boxes is? It makes litter boxes? No, it does not make litter boxes. It says, tired. Hey. Okay. It says, Tired of scraping stubborn clumps from your cat's litter box? Make cleaning a breeze with our pet's no-stick litter box spray. Scientifically developed for frustration-free litter box maintenance. Uh, it says um, that you spray it into the litter box when it is empty and it will prevent the litter from sticking to the litter box. And it also says it contains fresh catnip scent to encourage litter box use. Unlike other no-stick sprays, which may promote bacterial growth, our pet's no-stick litter box spray uses natural lubricants to prevent sticking. Huh. Generously spray bottom and all sides of litter box, litter scoop, and litter rake for automatic litter boxes. For best results, wait 15 minutes after applying product before adding litter to box. Reapply each time you change your cat's litter. My goodness, I've just I've literally never heard of this, and considering that they compare themselves to other litter box sprays, there must be an entire industry of this stuff, and I had uh, no idea that such a thing even existed. We'll definitely try this out and let you guys all know what we think of it. Here we also have a catnip chaser from Helen. Look at that. These are always popular. Um, this has, uh, let's see, it's like a smaller version of the cheese chase, which is, oh, right here behind me. It's from the same manufacturer as the cheese chase. Oh, and here's the spring got thrown in the cheese chase. I don't know why this is called cheese chase, by the way. There's a mouse on top, but it does, no way resembles a cheese. Don't ask me. Anyway, so this one has a little thing that uh, on the top, that you, it's oh, it's a container. that The top is a container that you fill with catnip, and it's got little holes so the catnip scent comes out. How cool. Wow, Helen, that's some really cool stuff that you sent. Thank you so much for those. Huh. I'm going to put the cheese chase for the... This cheese case back here? Yeah, the other one. The new one? I think we should wait a little bit. And I, because they have so much fun in the uh, annex with the yeah. ball track, I think this should go to the annex. Unless Helen had some specific intent for it, in which case, uh, just let she us know. Did. Oh, okay. Or at least it wasn't on the last one. Okay, good. So I think that cheese chase, uh, not cheese chase, the catnip toy uh, goes to the annex. I think that's a good place for it. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see what we got next here. Oh, let's go for something a little small before we get into the international packages. Um, all right. To your health. It says. Who knows what a package that says to your health could contain? It is a mystery. Um, Sally Hayward from the chat. Yeah. Is oh, is this person? Yeah. They oh. Said, um, I'm 
I'm sorry. I was saying anywhere. I was saying Helen this whole time, and that was completely wrong. I got that off the, the uh, mailing label. Um, maybe that's the person that's at the place that mailed it. Uh, it is from Sally on the chat. Sally, thank you so much. Um, you are a frequent chatter, and uh, we love having you around. Uh, thank you so much for sending that stuff. What crazy products you sent. Um, I'm really excited to, to try both of those, the spray and the, the little chase. So, Thank you, Sally, so much. Uh, okay, here we go. This says, a gift for you. And it says it is from at Puppernippin, Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> it's, that's at P-U-P-P-U-R-N-I-P-P-I-N, Puppernippin. Uh, that's a very interesting name. That's Twitter and Instagram. And it says, hi, DJ, Mr. A, Mama's Rue and Chili, the faculty, and all the kittens. We're sending you the lysine that has worked wonders for us and our URIs. Much better than the powder stuff and yummy, too. Love from at Puppernippin and the Cali Kittens. Uh, thank you, Puppernippin and the Cali Kittens. We are uh, using the lysine powder lately. Uh, if you've seen us bringing the wet food that we bring into this room, the wet food is uh, actually a mix that we make ourselves. It is the uh, wellness brand wet kitten food that we use for kittens that are this age, mixed with a generous helping of pumpkin because uh, we've had a few little poop problems, uh, at least we did when they came in. And uh, the pumpkin, oh, we also add the lysine powder that we have to that, and probiotics. Um, so it's a real big mix of food, and uh, it seems like it goes down pretty well. Um, so this is in, in, in Inizel F Lysine Bites. It says L-Lysine Supplement to support a healthy immune system palatable for cats. And it's chicken liver flavor. And uh, I don't... Wow. Uh, these packages are all messy with cat treat on the inside. And uh, I don't know if that means that they got a little melty in shipment or just that these are going to be the most disgusting, stinky wonderful cat treats ever um, like stink bait for, for fish cats like stuff that really smells bad um, so these just from looking at them look like they are going to be a big hit um, because just looking at them makes me think they must be really stinky dosage information, you, you really must go through a lot of these. It says, for kittens under six months, give six bites twice daily. And for older cats, give 12 bites twice daily. That is a lot of treats, so we'll give them a try. Thank you so much for sending these. Uh, I love trying out new stuff on our cats, and this seems like something that will be uh, very fun for us to, to try out on them. Um, custard. I would try some right now, except uh, I'm worried that I'd have to get up and wash my hands. So uh, we will get to that. All right, here's a very light box. It is large, but it is light. Let's see what we got here. Oh, goodness. Okay, there are some notes in here and a very interesting looking product. I like the look of this thing. I'll show it to you in just a minute. Let's see what the notes say. The notes say, oh, sort them out. Hang on. Okay, there's two notes, and the notes say, oh, they're the same note. I'm just going to read one. Okay. Hello, Kitten Academy. I know it's been a tough week, so I'm sending some stuff to make you smile. Things are coming in separate boxes. The scratcher and the treats are for the crew. Maybe chicken will tempt them to eat. Spoogles to all, Maya Bastet. I hope I'm saying your name right. M-A-Y-A-B-A-S-T-E-T -E from the Discord chat. My, Maya Bastet? Maya Bastet? Maya or Maya? Instinct Raw Boost Minis for cats. All natural, freeze-dried, raw treats. Only two calories per piece. Look at that. 
Those look actually really nice. That's freeze-dried chicken. And here's the thing I thought looked so interesting. It is a triangular shaped scratcher and it contains two jingle balls. Yes, there you go. This is a, this is a really interesting scratcher with these balls in it. So I will bring all of this to Rue and I think I think Rue gets a kick out of things that have balls trapped in them, like that track that she's been playing with. So she may get a kick out of this as well. Uh, let me put these in this box, and I will make this the box that goes to the annex when we're done. Which means I'm also bringing this. Oh, and Custard. Custard's like, hey, I want to go to the annex. Mm. Hey, buddy, you going to the annex? He just wants to play with those toys. He wants to get a preview. He's got a quality control. I'm <gasps> what? Well, how do you see that door? Well, you just run to the door for? Joey? Hey, maybe he's ready to go out, though. Joey's right there. I don't know. Or maybe he's Garbanzo, how are you so floofy? You cannot be this floofy. This is too much floof for one cat to contain. Oh. Okay, here we have a drop shipment from Doctors Foster and Smith, affordable quality pet care. These always, these boxes always contain really cool oh, stuff. Tomato and Elsie. Oh, uh, yeah, tomato and Elsie were meeting through the glass there. Chili and so far all of Chili's kittens are completely cool with the dog and everything else. Okay. Wow, there is some... Oh, I know what this is. Uh, who was it? I don't remember who it was, though. Someone had said that they were going to send a big kick toy for Rue because she likes to kick that, um, the, uh, the eclair that we've got in there. The little eclair toy. Um, I thought you meant her kitten. Well, she does like to kick her kitten, too, but that's not, no, that's not what I meant. So here we have two giant-sized kick toys, much bigger than the eclair that she likes to kick. Oh, wait, there's more. Three. Oh, oh, goodness, three. This one's really cute. I like that because it's like a caterpillar. Oh, caterpillar. I see what you did there. That's a really cute toy. I can't believe Darby just sitting in your lap. I know. I'm going to move this box in a second so everybody can see that. Okay, here we go. There's a note. That's why you always leave a note. A special gift for you and your pet. Uh, it doesn't have a name though, so I'm going to have to check my messages and emails and go back and see who this one was from, I think. Unless there is a note in here. Oh, there might be. Hang on, but it's all stapled together. Thanks, doctors, Fosters and Smith. You guys might be doctors, but you sure are not good. At uh, notes. Oh my goodness, they staple it in like three places inside the envelope. They're stapled to the inside of the envelope. Who does that? Uh, do they teach you this in med school? Mm -hmm. My goodness. Okay. Oh, here are some larger kickers for Rue and everyone else. From Jennifer H., J., and Peeper. That's uh, Jennifer on Discord. It actually says Jennifer on Discord, but I think that's a typo. It's Jennifer on Discord. Thank you, Jennifer, for the kick toys. I remembered what you were doing, but I don't rem didn't remember who did it, so I'm very glad there was a note. And uh, I think that Rue will enjoy these kick toys. Maybe we'll leave one in here to see if these kittens or uh, Chili decides that that's her thing, but I don't think it's Chili's thing. I think it's more of a, a Rue thing. How about if we leave this one in here, the one that's a bunny? Okay, we'll leave this one in here. These two we're going to take to Rue and see what she thinks of it. So right here in the Rue box. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness, i got to share a picture of this. <laughs> this kitten is folded up in a little... I don't even know if a picture will do it justice because this is ridiculous. I don't think this picture does the level of ridiculosity here any justice. It's a little garbanzo. It's just folded up with it. All you can see is just this floof.
tweet these two, even though I really, I don't think that they're doing the, I don't think you get the full effect, but Garbanzo's cute anyway, so it's still worth tweeting out here. Let's tweet all of those. Okay. Cool. Moving right along. Maybe that said Jennifer H on Discord because we have the Jennifer H. Yeah, that's. I thought that's what you. That's meant. what the typo was. Okay, so it's not. It wasn't just supposed to be Jennifer on Discord. The Jennifer H was there H. intentionally. Jennifer, it's but the H and the on got together. Okay, all right. Look, I'm really smart that way, so I got it. I got yeah, it. All right. No. Look at this garbanzo. This is mine. This is my garbanzo. They can't see you. This is for the people. This, this, that's how I justify this. This is for the people right here. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Okay, they can't see through this box. Do you want this? No. You don't want this? You do. No, you shook your head no. Come um. on. Okay, oh my goodness, okay, so I know this must also be from Devin, um, and this is what I expected, this is out of control now, Devin, um, it says, kittens can never have too many springs, feel free to use the extra springs for endowments of the kittens and kitten moms, Devin. Which is exactly how we ran out of springs in the first place. We do uh, always try to include some of the endowments because springs are always a hit. So, let's see. There are how many springs? A pack of 20. So that's 20 springs. And <laughs> this makes it 40 springs. And this makes it 60 springs. These are the larger size, but also 20 of them. And this makes it 80 springs. <laughs> that is a lot of springs. 80 springs. Wow. Thank you so much, Devin. Uh, these obviously are always a hit. The little plastic springs are something the kittens just, they always, always love them. So that is definitely great. Uh, we will add those to endowments, and we will also distribute them to our kittens, and... Uh, it's worth pointing out that Custard's favorite toy lately is a little yellow spring, uh, one of those little yellow plastic springs, just like the ones there. And he brings it to us all the time and insists that we throw it, and then he plays fetch. So it's also getting a little bent up, and eventually it will get lost. It is our very last spring, so uh, at least some no, of those. we have a lot of springs around the house. I don't think we do. I mean, they're probably like a whole bunch under the fridge or under the stove right. or something. Yeah, but I haven't seen any of them, except for the yellow one that Custard has been bringing around for days now. So those springs will definitely uh, end up getting used in all of those places. Uh, we will distribute them to the faculty and to these kittens and to Rue and obviously in the uh, endowment bags. So, Devin, thank you so much for the springs. Yes. Um, in fact, it's just like they say. Oh, no. There uh, we go. <laughs> we're never going to run out of springs because we all hope springs eternal. Hope, hope springs eternal. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hey. Did you, did you come up with that like when she was talking about springs? <laughs> For sure. Yeah, no, it's in my book. Yeah, I write them down. I keep a log. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it goes. Not true, I just made that up on the spot. Like, you oh, couldn't tell. Quiet. It's not that quality. Okay, a gift for you. And we know who this is from. This is from Clint in New Hampshire. Mr. A, here are dishes for Chili and her kids to take to their future homes. Clint in New Hampshire. Clint, uh, Clint always sends bowls for the cats to take with them for their endowment bags. And it has become an ongoing tradition ever since, gosh, when was the first time Clint did this? Was it Ivy's League? No. No, not that long ago? Um, Definitely the textiles. Yeah, I think maybe it started with textiles. Okay, so at any rate, 
Clint sends us these, uh, these bowls, the same bowls every time. If you adopt a kitten from Kitten Academy, you will get one of these bowls. Mm -hmm. They all come directly from Clint in New Hampshire. Clint, uh, I really do appreciate this, and I know that the adopters of the kittens do too. They're really nice metal bowls, the kind that will last you forever. And they have a uh, rubber rim too, so they don't go sliding around. Um, so quality, super quality, uh, super New Hampshire Clint. Thank you so much. Um, those those are always uh, now a staple in our endowment boxes uh, bags. So, Clint, thank you so so much. It's uh, I mean, you said uh, quite a long time ago. You said I'm going to send these bowls for every class, and I was like, yeah, he'll do it for a class, and then you know, that'll just be the end of it. Don't Whatever. do that. He can still stop anytime he wants. He can. You can. Clint, please, if, if you feel like stopping, please stop. But really I, I'm not trying to put any pressure on you. I really do appreciate it. it. But really I honestly did it. not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying is I thought I thought Clint would just, you know, send us some bowls and that would be the end of it. But he pointed at the outfield and uh, knocked that ball out of the park. What? I don't know. That was supposed to be a sports analogy, but I didn't. I don't, I don't sports, so I probably screwed it up. Um, at any rate, uh, Clint, thank you uh, so much for those bowls. They are uh, awesome. Um, you could say, oh no, <laughs> yeah, what? You the could say, Clint, that you eternal? that you bowled us over and over and over again. You bowled us over and over stop, and over again. Stop it! Come on! <sighs> I can see the way he's looking really? at you, by the way. That should be a picture. And so should what's going on with tomato back here. Can you guys, if I move this box, can you spread tomato in the TV? Tomato, so it's melting out of the TV just like they used to do with uh, the clam shell. Um, I thought there was a TV show where things would melt out of the TV. Well, it also does remind me of that girl from, what is it, The Ring or something? It's a horror movie where the girl comes out of the TV and they, every time I see these kittens coming out of the TV I think of that for some reason. Well now, now Tomato's woken up so it's not as good. Let me share these pictures real quick and then we will get into the international portion of our mailbag. The last two boxes are uh, from international correspondents. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're not international. Maybe they just live in their own country. But it's not this country. So, from our perspective, that makes it international, doesn't it? Somebody, yeah, somebody on the chat posted a picture of the girl coming out of the TV on, I guess it is the ring, so I was right about that. Um, and it, yeah, it's, uh, it's fitting. It definitely looks exactly like these kittens coming really? out of the TV. Well, I mean, it does, but it's, it's obviously meant to be spooky, so. Spooky. Yeah, uh, Jimmy posted it too. Anyway, uh, I'm going to post those pictures I just took on the Twitter. I took the picture of the kitten in the TV, uh, which is not as cute as it was when she was asleep, but I also took some Look pictures of man. Gonzo. Oh, yeah, but now she's sleeping with her face down on the floor. That's just weird. Um, uh, and every time I move over there, she wakes up. Okay. All right. Moving right along. I tweeted those pictures out, so if you wanted to see them, they are on the Twitter. And... If you don't know, by the way, if you're not following us on Twitter already, our Twitter is at kitten underscore academy. There's an underscore between the kitten and the academy. Do not go to just plain old at kitten academy on Twitter. That is the wrong place. Um, those people had the name before we did, and they are not safe for work. Although, uh, you know, I've got nothing against them. They seem like very nice people. Just not the kind of thing that you want to accidentally turn up for um, your kids. So make sure that if you go to the Twitter, it's kitten underscore academy. 
Um, all right, here we have a International Kitten Academy. Look at that very tidy handwriting. And it is in a letter, and the letter says on the back, Talk to the Paw. All right, inside we have... Oh, look at how cute that picture is. Oh, there's some donation inside there. Um, and this is apparently an Australian or a New Zealander because that is what the card uh, prices on the pack are listed in. Uh, there is a generous donation in here. Thank you so much for that. And it says, okay to read on stream. Um, <laughs> the card is basically blank though and there's a letter instead. Here we go. Wow, this handwriting, my goodness, that is some great handwriting. It says, Dear Kitten Academy, thank you for all the hard work you do for the cats and kittens at the Academy. It's warming to see how quickly the cats and kittens go from sad and distressed to loving and happy bundles of excitement. Your channel always fills me with joy and laughter, whether it's the kittens playing with anything and everything or the faculty cats trying to play with the kittens or their toys. I often compare your faculty cats to my cats as they are so much alike. My all-black cat, Charlie, looks so much like Ari and acts like him too. My other cat, called Alfie, who is a tuxedo cat, would love playing around with Custeru and Loganberry. I have included some toys and treats for the kittens and faculty cats to play with. I have also included some treats for the lovely Elsie, who does a great job in preparing the kittens if they ever move to a house with a dog. Mm -hmm. Finally. I hope Kitten Academy continues to help cats and kittens in need and provide us with funny and memorable moments for years to come. Yours sincerely, Ashley, from Weston Super Mare, UK, or maybe it's Weston, Weston Super Mare, UK. All right, I do not know how you get send us a card that is marked in Australian and New Zealand dollars from the UK. But I was completely wrong, um, Ashley. Thank you so much for sending this stuff to us. And let's see, it is a box that is just packed full of stuff. Here we have a Kong Kickaroo with a tail. Kickaroo. Yes, and here we have another Kong Kickaroo with a tail. We've got pink and blue for boys and girls. Although I'm not gonna say which is which because that would be uh, what do they call it? Gender normative? Uh, I don't know. Um, and then we have a green ball with a little fuzz there. And we have a little fuzzy mice. And we have a little gonzo who's going to investigate this stuff. Oh, more fuzzy mice. Wow. Uh, a pink ball with a very floofy tail. What do you think of that, gonzo? Little garbanzo beans. Is okay? Why is she waiting? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she wants to go out. She's going to go out. I'm not sure. I'm going to walk this at the end. Okay. Uh, here we have a bunch of mice, and also in addition to the mice, we have a little metal cage that is a ball for the mice to roll around in, so you can squeeze one of them through the bars. Uh, we had something sort of like that in here earlier, but we didn't have all the replacement mice for it, so that's pretty cool. And the cats did like it, so it will be a perfect thing for them. Mouse and squeak with catnip drives cats crazy. Realistic microchip squeaking sound. Now this... This makes a good candidate, uh, I've talked before, about Loganberry's favorite toy that is now just a little piece of fuzz that's been completely destroyed. Um, this, this makes, a, I think, a pretty good candidate for a replacement for him because he always likes the ones that start out squeaking and then, you know, eventually the squeaker gets removed and then everything else gets removed and all that's left is a little piece of fuzz. It also says, interactive fun for every moggy, which, uh, that's a, that's a, uh, I think a British term for a cat, a moggy, um, which I think is adorable. We don't use it here. In fact, people would not even know what you were talking about. Uh, but I think it's really cute. Here we have Cat Crazies uh, bracelets. They are sort of like little milk rings that cats like. And then on top of that, on top of that, look at this. 
Wow. So first off, we have Webex um, treat sticks, which uh, I don't even know if we can get in the States, but people have been sending us these for quite a while. And therefore, I know our cats love these things. And I like them too. As far as giving cats treats, these treat sticks are so convenient because they're just, uh, you know, you can just open it up and they're not sticky, they're not, uh, you know, messy, um, and, and the cats go right for it. They're like little cat um, swim gyms, almost. They are, they're like little cat swim gyms. On top of that now, we have another Webox product. This is one that we have never been sent before. I have not heard of this. It is Lick Elix. Lick Elix from Webex. Here, let me put this in the box. Hang on a second here. Let's clear this out so you guys can see what we got. Hi, Gonzo. Hey, buddy. What are we doing? Okay. Lick Elix Cream. And they are apparently uh, liquidish, liquid cat treats, I guess. That sounds super interesting. I bet the cats will like it. This one says it is with liver, tasty creamy treat. This one says it is with salmon, tasty yogurty treat. And this one says with chicken. And this one says with milk and yogurt. Wow. I bet the cats are really going to dig those. Uh, I'm excited to try it out. Then on top of that, and this is another thing we have never been sent before, Webox dog sticks for dogs. Not just that, Webex Porky Hide for small pressed bones. And then, and then, look at this, just like the cat Webex sticks, we have dog Webox sticks. I have never, I didn't know, I didn't, did not know this was a thing. But uh, considering how much Elsie loves cat treats, <laughs> she's probably going to dig this quite a bit. Thank you so much for sending these. Uh, this, that's really wonderful, and uh, Elsie is going to, Elsie is really going to like that stuff. Thank you. Uh, we got a note already from the chat that says, "Let Smuggy try the licky treats." Well, for sure, we will let Smuggy try the Licky Treats. Um, someone did previously send a product that was called Lickable Treats. It wasn't the same Webex brand like that, but it was called Lickable Treats, and uh, they were sent basically with Smuggy in mind. And we let Smuggy try them out. <laughs> She's so Smuggy Smokey's really funny that way because when when she first turned up at the Kitten Academy, you may if you don't know. Smokey has no teeth, okay, and uh, um, that's the way that she was when she came to us. She was already 12 years old. Uh, we got her from the shelter at 12 years old, and she had no teeth, and she was declawed. Um, and we thought at first that we would have to get her food that was, you know, like really soft, chewable, pate. We'd have to always feed her wet food, and we tried that. Uh, we, we tried to feed her wet, you know, just pate, easy, nothing you had to chew up. And she basically hated it. Like she would leave it and go and eat the kibble that we were feeding the other cats. She just she just wants to be like everybody else, I guess. She likes the kibble, uh, even though she doesn't have any teeth. That's that's what she prefers. So it's it's she's strange that way. But God bless her. Uh, you know, we'll let her do what she wants. So anyway, I, I'll definitely give her some of the lickable treats, though. We'll see how it goes. I think she might prefer just the regular old treat sticks that everybody else gets. Uh, we'll see. Uh, as far as lickable treats go, I think that um, I'm, I'm guessing that Custard and Loganberry are going to be huge fans of that stuff. So we'll try it out. Here we have a box from Japan. Um, we do not get a lot of stuff from Japan, so I am super excited to see what's in here. And on the outside, it's also got uh, little cat stickers that are just adorable little cat stickers. Here's, they're too small for you to see, but there's a little cat playing guitar to a bird. Uh, there's a cat Polaroid, a little cat in a hole. Here's a cat in a basket with an apple on his head, uh, a cat that is actually fishing. Um, they're really, really cute stickers. And 
Let's see what we can do to get this opened up. Uh, Japan is, is, and I've said this before, Japan's one of those places I've always wanted to visit and I haven't had the opportunity yet, but it's definitely on my list of things to do. But in the meantime, uh, one of the things that I, I just love about getting packages from our international correspondents is uh, how it gives you sort of a taste of another place. You know, you, you really sort of feel, um, even if they send you just the most ordinary things, like, like, I mean, honestly, cat treats are kind of an ordinary thing, but these treat sticks are something that I had never seen in the States before people started sending them to us. So even the most ordinary thing, if it comes uh, from someplace else, it's the fine differences, the things that, that are different about it that makes it so unique and um, it gives you, like I said, like a flavor of that place. So I, I really do appreciate it. Okay, here we have, it starts with a letter. It says to Kitten Academy. Meow. It says, okay to read if you want to. And uh, already it is, uh, it's got a quality about it that is different, you know, which uh, is exactly what I'm saying. All right, the paper. Uh, it says, dear Mr. A and DJ, greetings from Japan. There's a typhoon outside right now, but inside it's nice and dry. And Kitten Academy is on TV. I'm a U.S. native living in Japan, and Kitten Academy has filled the cat-shaped hole in my No Pets Allowed apartment life. I've been watching with my husband since about the time the fish were born. Your nightly close-up stream is around late morning here, so we usually watch it after work. We've spent so many hours watching your stream that we wanted to send you a few things from our life, too. We hope you and the cats enjoy them. Thank you for inviting us YouTube folks into your home. It's so wonderful to turn on the TV to a slice of American life and wonderful cute kittens every day. Thanks, Marie and Brian in Nagoya, Japan. N Nagoya? I think I'm saying that right. I think I'm saying that right. Like I know, like I'm some sort of an expert on how to pronounce these things or anything at all. P.S. Brian wants to add that he loves seeing Elsie on the close-up stream too. Well, thank you, Marie and Brian, uh, expatriates in Japan. I'm glad that I can bring uh, a little slice of Americana to your Japanese existence, and I'm even gladder that it includes cats. So, wow. So, Custard, what do you think of this? Yeah? Here we have a fan. We have two plastic fans. This one says, I love cat, and I do love cat. And this one says, I love cat, you love question mark. And it also has some cats, and it says meow meow. Those are, are really cute, and this again goes directly to my point about, you know, what could be more sort of ordinary than a fan, um, but this particular style of fan and the print on it is uh, is very Japanese, I suppose. Wow, speaking of, look at this box, oh, which is now falling open. Oh my goodness. Um, all right, I don't know where to start, so we'll just jump right in. Uh, this says, it is, my goodness, so cutely wrapped in this paper, so I don't even know what it looks like on the inside. It says, traditional Japanese sweets, Best Buy 820, pastry-ish outside sweet bean filling. Um... Gosh, I almost don't want to open it and see what they look like because it's so cutely wrapped in this paper. I'm going to anyway because we all need to see it, don't we? Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. Oh, well, that did not reveal much. <laughs> let's see. Let's keep going. How deep does it go? Like a gift inception. <gasps> Oh, look at that. This beautiful little watercolor card. I have no idea what it says, but it's beautiful. And look at these little treats. Wow. Oh, what are these? Well, so this is our box from Japan. I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? No, I'm just getting started. 
Look at these little treats. They're like little pastries with a sweet bean filling, it says. Is it for dogish? No, these are for people. Oh, peopleish. Yeah, you want to try one? Yeah. Okay. Look at what it was wrapped in. It's wrapped, so now that I've opened it up, I see that this, the paper that it's wrapped in is basically got a print that is these same pastries and a, a giant uh, bean, I think, on it. And they wrote a little note. It says, traditional Japanese sweets, best by 820, pastry-ish outside, sweet bean filling. Mm. Huh. So cute. All right. This, uh, wow. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is a, a bag, and it's a pocket eco bag, and it has cats on it. Look at that. Wow, this one looks just like Cha-Cha, and this one looks a lot like a Kazumi. And what this is, uh, I'm not going to open this all the way. It is a bag in a bag. Uh, so you have this tiny bag, and if you open it up, there's a giant bag inside, which is great for carrying things around. I love the cat print on that. It is so beautiful. So, okay, well, let's do this one thing at a time, but I'm just so thrilled about two of the things in this box. I don't know what they are, but the way they're wrapped is phenomenal. Oh, look at this. So this is another bag in a bag that has cats on it, but there's a note, and the note on it says this is for crow. So we will use this. Maybe we'll even put Crow's endowment in it when it's time for him to go. And we have another one here that says it is for Ben. And a third one that says, obviously, it is for Claire. So sweet. Thank you so much for those. And it gets better because we have green tea cookies. Oh, green tea cookies. Now, uh, DJ, you might know, is the world's biggest fan of green tea. Uh, she just drinks green tea like it was water. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Here you go, custard room. Hi, right, custard room. Aww. Okay. Can I go to the little yes, you can. All right. That was chilly, I think, you know, a little territorial, although that really resolved itself well. So, um, Obviously, we've had incidents in the past that uh, would not have gone so well, but Custard backed off and she stopped um, instantly, so nothing to worry about. Uh, I think, uh, again, Chili is just a chill cat. Uh, that's the least chill I've ever seen her, and uh, not a big deal. Um, okay, so green tea cookies, what was I saying? I was saying that DJ is a huge fan of green tea, but I'm guessing that uh, much like green tea ice cream, she does not go in for things that are green tea flavored the way that I do. I am a huge fan of the green tea ice cream, and I bet these green tea cookies are really going to hit the spot. So uh, thank you for that. And oh, oh goodness. Speaking of, here is actual green tea. And these, this, <laughs> these are so adorable. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open this up um, so that I can show you the tea packages. The tea is in. It says tea, and then it says front to back, green tea, roasted green tea, green tea with brown rice, and then a, a genmai cha, uh, green tea, and huji cha. Huji cha? I don't know if I'm saying those right. Obviously, I don't know if I'm saying those right, but that means... Uh, if I'm going to use this cheat sheet, I'm going to have to keep them in order. So, uh, not getting them out of order. Look at this. The green tea has a little cat on it. How cute. This is the roasted green tea. This is the green tea with brown rice. And it also has a cat on it in the corner here. And the, the kanji characters here are also made into a little... Uh, animal of some kind. Here we have one that says, good job. This is the Genmai Cha. Uh, green tea number two has a cat with balloons. And then whoop, finally we have the Huji Cha, which I, I hope I'm saying right. And it has these little, um, gosh, I should know what they are. Do they represent a demon or something? A little bean people? I don't know what they are. Uh, but, 
certainly an icon that we've seen before. Thank you so much. So DJ will definitely try the green tea while I am eating her green tea cookies. Uh, let's see. This is unfortunately unlabeled. Oh, Japanese Kit Kat. It has a little label in the corner that tells me what it is. They're very tiny. Uh, have a break. Have a Kit Kat. Uh, here, here we go. Green tea Kit Kat. So we do not get green tea Kit Kat in the States. In the States you get regular Kit Kat, you get dark chocolate Kit Kat, and that is it. And even the dark chocolate. chocolate. Oh, and white chocolate, yes. So there's three kinds of Kit Kats in the state, and that's all. But we have been told that in Japan there are 100,000 types of Kit Kats. Um, and that uh, I think um, if you eat a thousand different ty kinds of Kit Kats, you live forever. Or is that if you fold a thousand paper cranes? I can't remember. I think it's I think it's if you eat a thousand Kit Kats, you live forever. I'm going to go with that, okay? <clears throat> okay, hang on. I'm saving these for last because I cannot. I just can't get over the way that they're wrapped. <gasps> for toy storage, kitten laundry, or an improvised toy. It is a pop-up basket, and uh, I am not going to pop it up right now, but it is. It's covered in little drawings of mice and cats. They're totally covered in drawings of mice and cats. That's maybe a great cat tunnel. Well, I don't think it's shaped like a tunnel, though. Oh. And when it pops up, it's actually a big basket. It looks like, at first when I saw it, I'm like, oh, that's a little tiny, tiny kitten tunnel. But it's not, because according to this picture on the front, it is a giant basket. Wow, that's, I love the print on that with the little cats doing laundry with mice. It's, it's, it's pictures of cats doing laundry. They're hanging, they're little hanging pants on a line. They're uh, folding a sheet together. They're a pile, there's a pile of laundry with little mice sticking out of it. They're wringing uh, uh, a towel out. And then they have a tub, a wash tub with some soap and bubbles coming out of it. The, the print is, oh, that's adorable. Completely adorable. Stickers and stationery. Probably way too many. Sorry, I love this stuff. For decorating supporter letters, DJ's doctor study or work, Kitten Academy administration. Alright, well I love this stuff too, so let's have a look. And uh, DJ is obviously a big fan of stationery. That's why you hardly ever see her move. <laughs> I tried. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Wow, cupboard for cat storage. It says it is a postcard. It says cupboard for cat storage. It's a cupboard with a cat in it and a cat on it and a cat looking at it. Here we have friendly cats memo stickers. Here we have uh, more memo stickers. These cats look somewhat distressed. Distressed cats. Uh, here we have index stickers that also have cats on them. Oh, here we have, the, the title says, Flake Seal. I think these are little uh, stickers to seal your letters with, which are adorable. Uh, here we have stickers that are three-dimensional. They're little puffy stickers. I think DJ was telling me that when, uh, am I making this up? When you were in school and you collected stickers, the puffy stickers were the best? Yeah. The little puffy stickers were the ones that... that to tell oh, I'm sorry. I just outed DJ as, a, as an ex-sticker collector when she was a kid in school. But look at these. Okay, so first off, here's these puffy stickers. These are pretty cool. Check them out. Because it gets better. Wait for it. Because then we have a collection of puffy cats and fish. There's cats and fish. These are puffy and they're very... They're like Here, this takes the key to the next level. But wait for it, because here we have a collection of puffy cats, and these are so tiny and cute, and the bottom row are a bunch of cats laying on their backs with their bellies up. You probably can't see it very well, but that is that is as cute as it gets right there. Uh, here we have, it says, Masking Stick Seal Cat. Um, I don't know exactly what that's supposed to mean, but they are little tiny stickers. And the illustration on the back shows it uh, sealing bags or a uh, stick stuck on jars. So I guess it's also to seal your letters in jars with. 
here we have point sticker. It is cats, fish, mice, cans of tuna. And then finally, we have uh, a little stationery with some letters and some envelopes that has uh, little drawings of cats with lines. Those are really cute drawings. So cute. Wow. That's some really, really cute stuff. Or, um, I think, uh, what do they say in Japan? Kawaii? Kawaii, the word. Just why, but look, I'm I don't mind showing how completely ignorant I am of other cultures, so I have no idea. This one says B side label original sticker brand, and uh, I don't know what we're gonna find in here, but this looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can open it without doing too much damage to whatever's inside. Have a good life with good design, it says. Let's see what we find. There's still something in here that we're getting to. Oh, their little cat B-side label water and UV rays protect stickers. Here we have one that says Goofy Cat Cafe. And it's a cat in a uh, mug of coffee. And here we have one that's a cat pile. That is really, really cute. Oh my goodness, these are completely adorable. Wow, thank you. Those are really, really cute stickers. And we will have a good life with good design. Thank you, B-Side Label. Okay, next up we have masking tape. It is a very tiny little masking tape. with uh, It's got cats and fish and cat paws on it. Is only 10 millimeters wide. Um, so very tiny masking tape. I'll have to figure out what very tiny things we may need to mask off with that tape. Here we have, oh, here we have uh, little towels that have names on them. So this one is for Claire and for Crow and for Ben and for Rue. Those are really cute little towels. I love the little, I love the motif on them, little cats and uh, fish and cat paw prints. Super adorable. All right, and we have something here that says, uh, oh, I see, it is, uh, it looks like it's paper for, um, well, I'm not completely sure. It's, it seems a little stiff, so I'm not, I'm not sure what the intended purpose of this is. But it's got a beautiful cats on it, and it shows here that there's uh, a different five different designs of cat heads in here, and uh, each one is backed with uh, a bunch of smaller cat heads. And they say things like, oh my gosh, seriously, in a daze, and hmm... It's really, really cute. Wow. Hmm. I really like those designs. Those are beautiful. So finally, we have these items, which are wrapped in uh, these textiles and napkins, I guess. They're wrapped with little towels or napkins. And they each have a cat print on them with little cat heads done with a very... Uh, what strikes me is a very Japanese sort of design inside each of the cat heads. And uh, also I see there are a couple of cats on here, like you can see this one right here sleeping. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure what's in these, but there's a note in one. It says, oh, treat bowls, technically rice bowls, for the cream puff kittens, furoshiki, wrapping cloths, for Kitten Academy, so apparently Furoshiki is a, it's a thing, it's a cloth that is used to wrap a thing, and the way this is done is, I, I'm almost afraid to open them because I'll never probably get them back the same way, but they're, they're wrapped in a very specific way. <laughs> I see, okay, so there's two ends that are basically tied together, and then this piece uh, is folded over the top, so maybe I would, maybe it is. 
not as difficult as I thought. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, but this is where it gets really fun. Look at this. Okay, first off, these are great cloths. Uh, little, uh, sort of like handkerchiefs. Uh, let's see if this one is wrapped the same way. Let's just open these both up at the same time. Because this... Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, you all heard me get really excited. And the reason that I'm really excited is that these are wrapped in newspaper. Uh, this is a newspaper I will probably never be able to read, but if there's a picture of a duck race on it, um, then uh, I, I definitely know what I'm talking about. Um, seriously, though, uh, I love getting stuff that is wrapped in newspaper, uh, just because, especially if it's coming from overseas, because the newspaper, more than anything else that you could send, really gives you uh, sort of a flavor of that place, and newspapers are generally regarded as one of those things that you just toss out you know um, they're not they're not the kind of thing that you typically would send to somebody overseas unless you're using it to wrap a package or wrap a, a fragile thing so it's a rare it's a, it's a rare glimpse into that other place and I think that's really cool uh, these are beautiful. Wow, this is definitely a bowl that is going to get used to give uh, treats. The milk, I think the evening milk that DJ gives to the kittens, uh, to the cats, the, and it's lactose free milk, by the way, I should say. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, the newspaper appears to be the stock market listing, as well as. advert for something I can't even tell what it's advertising that's oh a uh, discs five disc set of something hmm. interesting I'm gonna I'm gonna examine this newspaper in detail because that's really like I said it's a, it's the sort of uh, flavor of another place that you just don't get any any other way so it's exciting I'm trying to open this one carefully too so I don't mess up the paper too much. I know it seems I, like a little kid or a kitten where it's like, oh, he sent, they sent me all this cool stuff and I'm more interested in the packaging. Uh, that's not true. The stuff that's in here is amazing too. So this looks like a four bowl set. These are phenomenal bowls. Thank you so much. They're, they're very nice. And I just love the way that they were wrapped on both levels. The, the wrapping uh, papers, uh, I'm sorry, the wrapping uh, cloth is just a really cool thing to do. And those are beautiful. And then the newspaper, too, is, uh, is <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Check out this ad. this there's a little baby tiger I don't know if you'll be able to see it obviously I don't know what they are talking about but in the back here we have a little baby tiger chewing on something there how cute hi okay well thank you so so much for sending this stuff by the way it is amazing uh, oh, here we have a hair product for people who are going gray or balding, so it's exactly what I need. I might just send off to Japan. Wow. Um, thank, thank you so much for sending all this stuff. It's, it's really fantastic. Um, everything is. Uh, I hope I didn't give undue attention to any one thing, and I hope uh, the fact that... Um, you know, we've had all this stuff going on, didn't sort of detract from any of the mailbag today. Uh, it's, it's wonderful, uh, everything that you guys have sent and, uh, and the outpouring of support for uh, Ben and, uh, you know, what's going on there. So just uh, thank you all so much for all of it. Um, it's wonderful. And uh, I'm sorry if I'm not uh, up to my usual level of verbosity today, but... Um, you know, reasons. So, that's some really, really, really cool stuff. DJ, did you see this green tea that they sent? No. 
Don't get it out of order because the cheat sheet explains what it all is in order. Yeah. I know. It's really cool stuff. Did you see the fans that they sent? That was when you were out of the room, too. I love cat. This one also says, I love cat. You love question mark? Cat. Yeah, of course you do. You love cat. I love cat. You love cat. So cute. Are you fanning yourself? I am fanning myself. Showing one. Did you try one of those little pastries, by the way? Did yeah, it's sweet? really good. Is it? Yeah. I oh, don't wow. know if you like it. It's not sweet enough for you, but it's perfect for me. Hmm. I'll definitely try it out. <laughs> Alright. Are you a hot chili? Well, not anymore. Now she's a chili chili. Chili chili? <coughs> So, do you want to move that camera to the bottom shelf? Because they're all there. Yeah, that's it. Like we used to for sure. the fish. Yeah, you bet. That's, we'll do that. Let me move all this stuff out. you want to move the camera? Go right ahead. I don't know. I won't get it flat enough. Or, yeah. Okay. Or it's not pulling off the edge. So, I'll do this part. Okay. Oh, this stays in the room. But everything else goes out. Okay. Oh, these all right. holes are so cute. Look at them. So, these are... They're, I, I think they said that they're technically little... Uh, Bowls, but that you should use them for cat treats, and I think they're the perfect thing to give the faculty milk? their milk in. Yeah. Yes, the little lactose free milk. Look at the beautiful. You should have seen the way they wrapped. You really missed out. Oh, that was what was that in the bundle. Yeah, so cute. They were little bundles. All right. Well, thanks again, everybody. Um, before I even go down and uh, pull the archive of today's mailbag, I am going to move this camera. Oh, and uh, keep in mind, uh, now that the mailbag is over, my next thing is to go to On Angel's Wings and pick up five kittens. So um, we got that going for us. Uh, that'll probably take a couple hours. So, all right. This camera is going to get all locked up for a minute when I move it.
camera. you, Rue. Oh, yeah. Folks think do a lot of fun things. Let's see which camera's on in this room. Squeak! Oh, you're such a squeaker. Okay. Good enough. Alright, let's deploy a few of these items for Rue.
that triangular scratcher. It comes with a, a bag of what I presume is catnip. I'm just going to put that aside for now. We'll use it if it turns out to be it. Here we have a kicker for roux, a roux kicker. DJ sent along two of the springs from Devon. So let's deploy those as well. Kicker. One is never enough. away. Ooh, how are your little kids doing, huh? And how are you? Meow. DJ put the toys in the tunnel? <laughs> Excuse me, or did the cats do that? <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> 